this poor boy came in and he's feeling real bad. He's uh, has really bad, strange colored diarrhea, kind of an orangey green green diarrhea, and he's got a fever of 105, and he's got lymph nodes that are just huge. These uh, lymph nodes in the underneath his cheek, you can see kind of coming out there when I push. That's how big the lymph nodes are. So I'm going to uh, put a needle right into those lymph nodes. And I'm going to see if I can... Uh, aspirate out some cells. And I'm going to put them on the slide and, and look for the rickettsial organism that is the cause of salmon poison. So when I looked in the uh, slide of the smear I made from the lymph node, I saw those little purple dots that you see. Uh, this is actually an image off the internet, but you can see what it would have looked like. And it looked just like that. I matched that up and went, wow, that's what it is. It's salmon poisoning. Remember, this dog ate raw trout, but it's still salmon poisoning. Um, the dog eats the trout. What happens, how the trout gets infected is this little fluke is that lives in the dog. Uh, gets shed in the poop, the, uh, goes into a snail and into the trout or salmon, and then the dog eats it and gets the cyst that makes a fluke with the bacteria and infects the dog. And that's salmon poisoning, so you need that whole cycle, but basically no raw trout or salmon should be eaten. Uh, the, the poop, I took a sample of that, and I found these little oval eggs in there, those little circles ignore the dots it's just a bad uh, microscope digital picture but those are the little oval eggs so this little boy ate raw trout in the trout near the kidneys are the organisms that cause salmon poisoning they're in this little organism called a fluke and it's a type of bacteria once the bacteria gets into the dog it gets into his bloodstream it can cause his lymph nodes to get huge and as i push out Look at those lymph nodes. They're usually, this is how big they are. They're between my fingers. Those are pretty darn big lymph nodes. Him. Lymph nodes occur here. They occur around the shoulders, behind the knees or the stifles, and they're all big. So these lymph nodes are big because they're fighting infection from salmon poisoning. Another thing the bug does is it it causes so much inflammation that you get a you get a lot of a low platelets and the blood can seep out of the blood system under the skin and cause what we call petechia. You can see it there and you can see it here. See all those dots? That's called petechia. Now, do I think he's going to make it? We have a, the correct drug in him now, doxycycline, or you can use tetracycline. And we have him on IV fluids. And we're giving him little bits of baby food or a teaspoonful of baby food several times a day, every hour, so that he has new, some nutrition to fight this, even though he doesn't have any ap appetite. App 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 appetite. <laughs> we make sure he gets some food. How are you doing today, Thunder? How are you doing today, Thunder? It's a good sign. Come on, Thunder. Come on. That's a good boy. So how do you feel today? You feel better? Or at least you're up. Yeah, it's a good boy. You can't go too far because you're... But I think you can tell, huh? You know that she's coming with something to eat. You're a little hungry, aren't you? So salmon poisoning is caused by a bacteria that lives in a little fluke that lives in uh, the intestine of a dog, passes eggs, the little larvae swim into a snail, get into the fish, and then the dog eats raw salmon or trout guts, especially near the kidneys. So you want to avoid letting your dog eat raw fish. Um, some people get the idea that all salmon is poisonous to dogs. That's just not true. Raw salmon or raw trout, if they eat the guts, the kidneys especially, they can get the disease where the fluke's hanging out with the bacteria in it. You can feed salmon fillets 
uh, raw. I do feed that to my dog and have never heard of a problem with that. But if you want to be safe, you can feed them, feed them cooked fish in general. Salmon is not poisonous. It's just this fluke and the bugs within it. Well, take if you get a chance, check out my website, dogdishdiet.com, and my book, Dog Diet Answer Book. Hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of a rare thing in some areas, but very common in the Northwest. Have a great day.